Hi everyone, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today, we're gonna to be making an awesome lanyard and we're gonna be incorporating our brand new Beast of Legend Shackle. So if you remember our previous Beast of Legend Shackle video, we used a micro paracord to do some accents on our weave. Today, we're gonna to do it a little bit different with some brown leather rather than micro cord. Feel free to use micro cord or nano cord if you would like to, but we had some leftover brown leather, so we're gonna be using that today. In addition to our brown leather, we do have 10 feet of black paracord, 10 feet of silver gray reflective paracord, which will be perfect if you're using your lanyard at night. We have a gold D-ring. We have our Beast of Legend Yormagand shackle that we'll be using today. We have our lighter, we have our scissors, and just in case any kids are going to be using this lanyard, we do have our pop barrel connectors just for easy breakaway in case you need it. So our first step is going to be taking the black paracord and putting it around our neck just to make sure that the lanyard is going to be the length that we would like it to be. And I think laying right there is going to be perfect. We're going to take scissors and we're going to cut it right at that point. So after we have taken apart our shackle and we have the two parts here, our first step is going to be taking our black paracord and making a cow hitch around the head of our snake. And as you can see, there's a little bar inside. After we've made the cow hitch on the head of our shackle, we're gonna put it down and it's time to take our silver gray reflective paracord and our brown leather paracord, and we're gonna be making some square knots or a cobra weave about two inches from the head down. And as you're tightening down these square or cobra knots, you can actually push up on the actual knot to make it just a little bit more flush. So once you do have the length down that you would like the bottom of your lanyard, uh, all you have to do is just snip the extra paracord and light it down. So when you do have the Cobra Weave, the desired length that you want it, it is time to flip the lanyard around. And on this side, we're gonna be adding our pop barrel connectors. And the way that we are gonna do this is very easy. So on one side, you're gonna see a smaller hole. And then on the inside, you're, uh, on the other side, you're gonna see like an indentation. So basically you just wanna take the paracord, you wanna put it through so that the indented side is on the outside. And what we're gonna do to connect this is we're just going to melt this one end of the paracord down. We're actually not going to do anything with it. We're just going to allow it to cool off and dry and it should make a nice little stopper. As our producer always loves to point out, a nice bead of plastic right there on the top. So then that way, that is going to be the stopper for our pop barrel connectors. We're gonna do the exact same thing for the other side. So for our bottom half, we are going to start it out the exact same way. We're going to make a cow hitch around the bar on the bottom half of our shackle. All right, for our next step, we are going to take that silver gray reflective and the copper leather that we do have. And we're going to do the exact same thing that we did on the top half. We're going to make this time probably about an inch of cobra weaves or square knots going down the black inner strands. And having done a couple of these, I did find that the easier way to do this is to tighten the leather and then tighten your paracord. And then once you get them laying where you would like them to lay, take them both and tighten them both up. So once again, we're gonna do the leather first, get it tight. We're going to do the silver reflective and then both of them. And we're gonna continue down, making about an inch of our weave. All 
All right. Once you get the desired length on your Cobra Weave on the second half of our lanyard, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did on the, on the other half. We're going to cut our Silver Gray Reflective, and we're going to burn it down. All right, after singeing down our Paracord and hiding our leather, it is going to be time to add our D-Ring to the bottom of our entire lanyard. Now, how we're going to hook this on there is we want to put a double cow hitch just so we can really tighten it up to the bottom. And how we do that is, let's say we're going to take the right side of our working strand. We're going to go through. We're going to bring it down, and then we want to go over itself to the right because it's the right side of the working strand. Once you do that, we're going to take the strand, we're going to bring it back up through, and we're going to bring it back down and loop it upon itself. And then there, you're going to see that we made the cow hitch. And from here, we can just adjust it all the way down. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the other side, the left side, except we're going to do the opposite. So if we come through, then we're going to go in front of itself to the left this time come back up and around and put it right on through and then you can adjust as needed and for the final step all we have to do is cut and singe our black paracord all right, so after completing the lanyard, let's see how it fits. Oh, fits like a dream. I think it looks great. I think the leather is very complimentary to the silver gray reflective that we have. And we did use the reflective uh, in case you do want to wear this at night and everybody should be able to see ya. So not only does it have a nice color, nice accents, but it's actually very safe as it does have a breakaway feature just in case any kids want to be using the lanyard. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you do want to see another project, or if you want to see us incorporate another Beast of Legend Shackle, just let us know in the comments below. That's the greatest way for you to tell us what you'd like to see on the channel. If this video did help you, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. Have yourself a great rest of the day. We'll see you on the next video.